morning. Today I wanted to bring you this romantic, edgy Valentine's Day look. Um, you can really wear this whenever you want, but it's supposed to be for Valentine's Day. If you're going out with someone, if you're staying in and having wine, if you're going out with your girlfriends, if you're gonna Netflix and chill with your cat, whatever you're gonna do on Valentine's Day, you gotta look good still. I absolutely love the colors and I had not used them yet, so I wanted to create something fun and I was very impressed with myself. If you wanna learn how to create this look, then keep on watching. Hi everyone, so to get started, I'm using a makeup setting spray and I'm using the Urban Decay D Slick setting spray. I'm also going to be priming one side of my face with the Nivea Post Shave Balm. This was kind of an experiment to see how my foundation wore. For my foundation, I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick Foundation and I'm just going to apply that directly to my face. Then I'm going to use my Morphe M439 foundation brush and I'm going to apply some setting spray on that and then start blending my foundation out. I did this only to the side that I applied primer on. Again, it was an experiment and you will hear me talk about how I felt later on about that. So right off the bat, I feel like this foundation doesn't apply any better with a primer and I don't think that's a bad thing. I feel like that's a really good thing actually because it applies very easily and evenly with and without a primer. You can use it without a primer. I did use a primer on this side of my face and I used the Post Shave Balm by Nivea. I also sprayed some makeup setting spray by Urban Decay on my brush while applying the makeup to this side but I feel that doing that only slightly made it easier to blend out other than that since you apply the foundation pretty much straight onto your face it's very soft and easy to blend on its own so I really like the coverage so far I feel like it gave me the same amount of coverage with a primer than without this is not a first impression because I've tried to film this first impression video so many times by the time that I'm already doing this video it's already been like six times that I've worn this foundation but with that said I really do like how the foundation looks after I applied my foundation I decided to go in with concealer and I was using the Maybelline concealer at first with the Real Techniques beauty sponge but I ended up not liking it. It was my first time using it and it took some of my foundation off. So to correct that, I decided to use my Urban Decay concealer and used it with my old trusty and goody beauty blender. It's damp. So to prime the eyes, I wanted to put a gel liner under my eyeshadow and I'm using ColourPop's No Shame Gel Liner but I wouldn't recommend this one because it just dried so quickly so I would recommend putting an actual pencil. And then after applying that, I'm going in with NYX tape and a blending brush and I'm just applying that on the crease and I'm just really building that up. Then with a smaller blending brush, I'm applying a Leopard by ColourPop and that's gonna be my outer crease color. And I'm just gonna build it up to however intense I want it. So you can do the same. If you don't want it too intense, you can just not apply so much. But I did do a couple of layers to build it up to the intensity that I wanted. Next, I'm going in with one of my favorite ColourPop shades. It's called Dance Party and it's like a shimmery purple. It's really beautiful. And I'm packing that on with a flat synthetic brush. I feel that when you really want to pack on a ColourPop shadow, that's the best way to do it. Then I went into my Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette and I picked that purple. And I put that with a pencil brush or a small blending brush into my crease, into like the very corner of my crease. And then I brought it down to my lower lash line. 
and I just built it up to the intensity that I wanted. Then I went back with Dance Party and I put that in the lower lash line as well with like a flat synthetic brush. I had a little bit of fallout so I wanted to just correct it with some concealer. I applied a little bit and then just blended that with a brush. To add some light to my face, I decided to go into my Too Faced Cocoa Contour Palette and just use that very light color under my eyes um, to set the concealer and to add a little bit of brightness into my eyes. I also went into the Medium Contour color and I just um, contoured with a small bronzer brush. I love this brush. It's a Dona Lace brush. And then I also wanted to bake a little, so I went in with... A translucent powder I think it was the NYX powder the NYX translucent powder and I just baked and then I wanted to also highlight so I went into that Too Faced bronzer um, palette I don't know what it's called but I just used the, the highlight color to highlight then I went in back with a clean brush and I just brushed that all over my face to clean up the contour I mean the baking sorry then it was time to finish the eyes and I just curled my lashes a little bit because mine are so straight and flat and I hate them. And I used a Dior Lash Mascara. I really love the mascara. For the lips, I used my Holy Grail lip pencil and that is Urban Decay's Naked 2 lip pencil. It's so creamy. And then to finish it off, I went in with one of my favorite liquid lipsticks. And that is Lime Crime's Velvetine in Faded. It's a really beautiful, pinky color. It's just so pretty. So that's pretty much the final look. And keep on watching if you want to hear me talk about the foundation and the look. Overall, I think the foundation is amazing. The coverage is really buildable. What I love the most about it is that when you apply it, it's very easy to blend. It's so creamy and it gives me the perfect finish to my face. I'm very picky with my foundation. I like hate the Born This Way foundation that everybody loves. I'm Mm, I'm like on the fence on the Urban Decay Naked Skin. I mean, I really love it, but it doesn't give the coverage that I love. It's just been the perfect foundation for me. I'm really loving it. I'm bummed that it only brings half of what a normal foundation brings, but hopefully I get a lot of use out of what it has and what it brings because if it only lasts you half as a normal foundation one, then that means you're spending more money than you normally would. I don't wear foundation every day though, so that's okay for me. And I don't think this is a foundation for everyday wear either. I would probably prefer my Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation for every day, and this one for going out or for days that I want a very good coverage. Um, like I said, I'm in the shade 118. I also wanted to quickly mention that if you have seen the Revlon Photo Ready Insta Fix Foundation, which is also a cream foundation, this one has 0.24 ounces. It has a quarter of what a normal foundation would have, and the only reason it looks like it has more is because it's skinnier. I am going to say, if you have been wondering whether you whether this one is comparable to the Makeup Forever one, this one is not comparable. This one is absolute crap, and I'm mentioning it in this video because I usually don't have products that I regret buying videos because if I don't like a product, I return it. I'm very simple. If I don't like something, if it didn't meet my standards, if I don't absolutely love a product, I return it. But I am not able to return this product. I'm actually going to have a full video on a horrible experience I had with a Revlon kiosk at a mall. But I just quickly wanted to mention that if you are looking for a more affordable product, that the Revlon is not anywhere near the quality of the Make Forever. If you are looking to invest in a new foundation and you have the money to splurge on this one, then I would say definitely get it. It's really, really good foundation. It really impressed me. I hate the liquid one. I absolutely hate it. I can't stand it. I can't stand when people rave about it. For me, it's just, it's not a good foundation. It hasn't worked for me. I have oily skin. I need something that's going to um, be a little bit more mattifying. And even though this is a satin finish, it sets pretty matte when you set it with 
with a powder. All right, everyone, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you absolutely love the video and the look. And if you like my videos and wanna see more, then don't forget to subscribe. I am definitely looking forward to bringing you guys more makeup tutorials this year. I will see you guys next week in another video, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you.